here with Keith Crouch, Shanice, Jody Watley, Layla Hathaway, and Jamie Jazz over there. And we are here because they all participated on the recording of my new album, Blue Foria. So thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Stop smiling. <laughs> the best part about it too is that everyone pretty much has worked with one another before in some capacity. But this is the first time that you sang on my record. Is it? This is yes, so right? that's crazy. That's that sense. Sense. It is insane. Working with him and uh, Keith on the on the song, it was just I had such a good time, and I'm very shy. But I had one glass of wine, and it totally like. I mean, it made me kind of mellow a little bit. And relaxed and everything. had a great time. Yeah, we did. Keith worked with me on my first album. Lord, I was eight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making it comfortable for me to stretch as a producer and, and to um, make me feel safe. I don't think people really pay attention to the fact that you are a producer. It was cool for me, like if I if I felt like I just needed to, you know, just just get out of the room for like 15, 20 minutes or whatever, I already know that he is so invested in every aspect, I really felt like it was a mirror thing going on, you know? And that was it was great. Working with you two over the years has taught me so much. You know? Writing songs and coming up with music with the both of you that feels, at least to me, like classic song. And then on this new record, this one, Blue Ferro, when before it started, he was in a, we couldn't get a hold of him really. He was at the studio, you know, his own spot in his house. And one day we were out doing some show and he says, hey, let me play a little bit of stuff I'm working on. We went in the car and he played me some stuff. It's like, what do you me think? Me too. I was like, damn, I, I, wanted, I wanted to tell you so bad it was horrible. <laughs> but really what I felt was proud, you know? Right. Because I could hear you, what you've always expressed with us, but I also could hear Keith in there. Mm -hmm. And I could hear me in there. Exactly. The as well as the years of working with y'all. Mm -hmm. It's it's my gift back to you, in, in a sense. You know what I mean? It was me saying, see, look, <laughs> what you know I've learned from working with y'all. You really can't do very much better than this group of folks in terms of sound, production, uh, just being iconic, just being able to look around the room and say, what does that sound like? What does that look like? Mm -hmm. So I have been mentored by all of you in some way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But there's also so much that goes into trying to make a 100% piece of art. Mm -hmm. I know the struggles and mm -hmm. the pain that you have to go through. So I hear all of that too in right. your records. I hear that, um, I hear art. That's good. I always hope that that's how it's translating, that it's being received exactly how I saw it. Mm. When I listen to you, I feel intrigued and inspired because each record you've done, uh, you bring something different. You um, are who you are and, you know, you don't really care what people have to say and I definitely relate to that. Right, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. We did a song together called Ghost that was, uh, we did with Jamie. It was fun. It was quick too. It was quick. It was really quick. And I got to um, have her recapture one of my favorite parts of one of my favorite songs of hers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was fun. You know, when I listen to you, number one, I'm reminded that you're crazy. That's true. <laughs> and I hear that in your vocals because you're crazy. And I hear, when I hear you, I hear growth. Not that you weren't wonderful before. I mean growth, like more part of humanity. But I just think that, you know, for me, the adjective for you is, is, uh, is spiritual. Really, that's it. Spiritual, that's a good one. Thank you. When I started working with you, it it put everything back into that initial perspective that I had as a child that was all God and it was all love and it was all hope. I don't care if you sell three records or 30 million records. Your commitment to your art and your music always stays the same. You don't ever change it, right? So I don't ever want you to just get in your own way and doubt yourself. And don't let anyone else get in your way. And don't let them. Yeah. <laughs> you just keep believing. Yeah. Keep, right. keep believing and doing what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you for that. It's like a little intervention, isn't it? It is. <laughs>